Welcome back to our Z Coins world, coin enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into a specific coin that could be hiding in your pocket change. The 2005 P. Kansas Washington Quarter. You might be surprised to learn that this seemingly ordinary quarter could be worth up to $1 million. So, stick around as we uncover the story behind this remarkable coin, what makes it valuable, and how to spot the rare variants. Let's get started. The Kansas Quarter is part of the 50 State Quarters Program, which began in 1999 and ran through 2008. Each quarter in this program features a design that represents each state. The Kansas Quarter, released in 2005, showcases a beautiful image of a sunflower, the state flower, and a depiction of a cowboy on horseback, symbolizing the state's agricultural heritage. But that's not all. The reverse side of the coin features the familiar image of George Washington, designed by John Flanagan. Now, let's talk about value. While many 2005 P. Kansas quarters are only worth their face value of 25 cents, there are certain conditions and variants that can drive the price up significantly. In particular, the 2005 P. Kansas quarter with the extra leaf variety has captured the attention of collectors and investors alike. This rare variant features an extra leaf on the sunflower, which is a result of a dye error during minting. These coins are highly sought after and can fetch anywhere from a few hundred dollars to several thousand, depending on their condition and the current market demand. Wondering how to find one of these valuable coins? It all starts with being diligent about your change. When you receive coins in your pocket or from cash transactions, take a moment to check for the 2005 P. Kansas quarter. Look for those tiny details that could indicate a rare variant. Ensure it has the P. Mint mark on the front, which indicates it was minted in Philadelphia. Look closely at the sunflower for any signs of the extra leaf. The better the condition, especially if it's graded as MS-65 or higher, the more valuable it could be. If you think you found one of these gems, the next step is to get it appraised. You can take it to a reputable coin dealer or a numismatic expert who can help verify its authenticity and condition. Look for reviews and feedback from other collectors. Ensure the appraiser has professional credentials, such as being a member of the American Numismatic Association. If possible, Get more than one appraisal to ensure you're getting a fair value. In conclusion, the 2005 P. Kansas Washington quarter dollar might look like just another coin, but it has the potential to be worth up to $1 million if you know what to look for. So, keep your eyes peeled when going through your change. Who knows? You might just uncover a hidden treasure. If you enjoyed this video, Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on valuable coins and collectibles. And don't forget to comment below if you've ever found a rare coin. We're diving deep into the world of numismatics to explore a remarkable coin, the 1988 P. Washington quarter dollar. This unassuming coin could be worth up to $1.2 million. So grab your change jar and let's find out if you have this potential treasure. First. Let's talk about the coin itself. The 1988 P. Washington Quarter was minted in Philadelphia and is part of the famous Washington Quarter series that began in 1932. It features a portrait of George Washington on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse, symbolizing strength and freedom. The 1988 P. Quarter was produced in large numbers, with over 1.5 billion coins struck which is why most of these coins are relatively common. This is a minting error that results in a doubled image on the front of the coin. If you have one of these quarters, it could be worth anywhere from $500 to $1,200, depending on its condition. The standard 1988 P quarter is made of a copper nickel clad composition, but if you find one that shows signs of significant wear or has a unique strike, it might catch the eye of collectors. Uncirculated coins or proof coins from the 1988 P mint can fetch a much higher price. 
If your coin appears shiny and has no signs of wear, you might be looking at a value of $50 to $100 for uncirculated examples, with proof coins going even higher. Now, let's discuss what affects the value of your 1988 P. Washington quarter. Coins are graded on a scale from poor, P1, to perfect mint state, MS70. The better the condition, the higher the value. Look for coins with no scratches, dents, or discoloration. While there are many 1988 P quarters, the specific varieties we discussed are rare. The fewer coins available in good condition, the higher the price collectors are willing to pay. Coin values fluctuate based on collector interest. Keeping an eye on market trends and participating in coin shows can give you insight into what buyers are currently looking for. In 2022, an uncirculated double die obverse quarter sold for $12,000 at auction. Another example, a standard 1988 P quarter in exceptional condition, recently fetched $1,200 at a collector's event. These examples show that there's significant value in these coins if you happen to find one with the right characteristics. Go through your pocket change or jars. Look for the 1988 P quarters specifically. Talk to coin dealers and see if they have any rare 1988 P quarters in their inventory. These events are great places to buy, sell, and learn more about rare coins. You might even find a collector willing to trade or sell a valuable quarter. To wrap up, the 1988 P. Washington quarter dollar may seem like just another coin, but it has the potential to be worth up to $1.2 million, especially if you find one of the rare varieties we discussed. So keep your eyes peeled, check your change, and you might just discover a hidden treasure. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more coin content, and share your findings in the comments below. Have you ever found a valuable coin? We'd love to hear your stories. We're diving into a coin that may just be hiding in your pocket or jar of spare change. The 1989 P. Washington Quarter. You might not think much of it, but this coin has a fascinating story, and some rare specimens are valued at an astonishing $1.6 million. So stick around as we uncover the secrets of this quarter dollar. The Washington Quarter was first introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. Designed by John Flanagan, this coin has undergone several design changes over the years, but the 1989 P version is particularly noteworthy. Minted at the Philadelphia Mint, the P Mint mark signifies its origin, and it features a profile of George Washington on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse. Now, let's talk specifics. The 1989 P quarter is made of 91.67% copper and 8.33% nickel, weighing in at 6.25 grams. The diameter is 24.26 millimeters. While most 1989 P quarters are worth their face value of 25 cents, there are some rare exceptions. What's really exciting are the rare varieties of the 1989 P quarter that can fetch incredible prices. One significant variety is the 1989 P double die quarter, which features a noticeable doubling in the inscriptions on the obverse side. This defect happened during the minting process and makes the coin extremely rare. Collectors are willing to pay handsomely for this type, sometimes reaching values up to $1.6 million in pristine condition. Use a magnifying glass to inspect the inscriptions. If you notice any doubling, especially on the word liberty or the date, you might have a valuable coin. The grade of the coin matters. Look for coins in uncirculated condition, which are more likely to command a higher price. If you think you have a rare coin, consider getting it appraised by a professional numismatist. If you're lucky enough to own a valuable 1989 P quarter, you might be wondering where to sell it. Online auction platforms like eBay are a great place to start, as well as coin shops and collector shows. Be sure to do your research on pricing to ensure you get the best value. 
The 1989 P. Washington Quarter is more than just pocket change. It's a potential treasure waiting to be discovered. Remember, not every quarter will be worth a fortune, but knowing what to look for can help you find those hidden gems. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content about coins and collectibles. Thanks for watching. What rare coins do you have in your collection? Share your stories in the comments below. We're diving into a coin that's not just a piece of currency but a potential gold line worth up to $1.2 million, the 1995 D. Washington quarter dollar. So, stick around as we explore its value, rarity, and how you can spot this incredible coin. Hey everyone, I'm James, and I'm thrilled to share some exciting information about the 1995 D. Washington quarter. You may have heard whispers about its value, but today, we'll break it down for you. We'll discuss its history, how it came to be, and what makes it so special. Let's get started. The Washington Quarter was first introduced in 1932 to commemorate George Washington's 200th birthday. The design has remained largely unchanged, featuring the iconic portrait of Washington on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse. The 1995 D quarter was produced at the Denver Mint, which is why it carries the D Mint mark. However, it's not just any 1995 D quarter that holds such staggering value. The rarity of certain variations makes this coin particularly sought after by collectors. So what makes the 1995 D Washington quarter so valuable? Well, there are several factors to consider. First and foremost is the condition of the coin. Collectors look for coins in mint state condition, which means they have no visible wear and tear. The Professional Coin Grading Service, or PCGS, grades coins on a scale from 1 to 70. A coin graded at 65 or higher is considered highly desirable. In fact, one 1995 D quarter graded at MS67 was sold at auction for an astonishing $1.2 million. Now, there's also the possibility of finding error coins among the 1995 D quarters. Some coins may have struck through foreign objects or display double die errors, which significantly increases their value. Collectors pay top dollar for these anomalies. For example, if you come across a 1995 D quarter with a noticeable doubling of the lettering on the obverse, you might just have a valuable error coin on your hands. Here are some tips for spotting and assessing the value of your 1995 D quarter. First, check for the mint mark on the reverse side, located above the eagle's tail feathers. If it's a D, you've got the right coin. Next, examine the coin for signs of wear or damage. Good lighting is key. Look for scratches, dents, or discoloration that could impact its grade. Remember, the better the condition, the higher the value. So, you've discovered a 1995 D. Washington quarter that could be worth a fortune. What's next? You have a few options for selling. Local coin shops can provide you with an appraisal, and reputable online marketplaces like eBay are great places to reach collectors worldwide. When selling online, be sure to provide clear, high-quality images of the coin, and be honest about its condition. This builds trust with potential buyers and can lead to better offers. In conclusion, the 1995 D. Washington quarter is more than just a coin. It's a piece of history that could make you a millionaire. Always keep an eye on your pocket change, and you might just find something extraordinary. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more coin-related content, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Comment below if you've found any rare coins or if you have questions about the 1995 D quarter. We're diving into an exciting topic, the 1997 D Washington quarter. Now, this may sound ordinary at first, but stick around because I'm going to show you why some of these coins are worth an astonishing $1.1 million. Yes, you heard that right. Before we get started, 
make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you won't miss out on any valuable coin finds. All right, let's jump into it. The 1997 D. Washington Quarter is part of the Washington Quarter series, which has been a staple of American currency since 1932. Designed by John Flanagan, this quarter features a profile of George Washington on the front, with an eagle on the reverse side. But what makes the 1997 D. unique? The 1997 D. quarter was minted in Denver and is a regular issue coin meaning it was produced in large quantities. The standard circulation value is just 25 cents, so why are we talking about a $1.1 million value? Let's uncover the mystery. Rarity is a key factor in coin collecting. While millions of 1997 D quarters were minted, a very small number have unique characteristics that can significantly increase their value. We're talking about specific errors, grades, and conditions. The most valuable 1997 D quarters are those with errors such as double dies, off centers, and other minting mistakes. Collectors are always on the lookout for these rare variations. Let's dive deeper into some specific errors that can turn a regular 1997 D quarter into a collector's dream. This happens when a coin is struck twice by the die, resulting in a noticeable doubling of features on the coin. For the 1997 D quarter, this error can be especially valuable. When a coin is not properly aligned during the striking process, it can result in an off-center image. This creates a unique look that collectors highly value. Some quarters may exhibit cracks on the surface, caused by wear and tear on the minting die. These coins can also command high prices in the market. Now that we know what to look for, Let's talk about grading. The condition of a coin is crucial in determining its value. Coin grading is a standardized system that evaluates coins based on their appearance. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect coin. A 1997 D quarter in uncirculated condition, especially one with an error, can reach astronomical values. Some of these quarters have been sold for over $1.1 million at auctions. So where can you find these valuable coins? You might just have one hiding in your pocket change or collection. Check your spare change, your grandparents' collections, or even at estate sales. If you suspect you have a rare 1997 D quarter, it's worth getting it appraised. Getting a professional appraisal is the best way to understand the true value of your coins. Look for reputable coin dealers, attend coin shows, or use online resources. Always ensure that the appraiser is certified to avoid any scams. To wrap things up, the 1997 D. Washington quarter is more than just a quarter. It's a potential treasure waiting to be discovered. Keep an eye out for those errors, and always check your coins carefully. You never know, you might just find a $1.1 million coin in your pocket. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with fellow coin enthusiasts. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing coin finds and tips. The 1981P Washington Quarter Dollar Coins that could be worth a staggering $1.4 million. Yes, you heard that right. So, if you have any quarters from 1981 lying around, you might want to pay close attention. Let's uncover the secrets behind this remarkable coin. First, let's take a step back and look at the history of the Washington Quarter. Introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth, this coin has undergone various design changes over the years. The 1981 Quarter, minted in Philadelphia, features the iconic profile of Washington on the obverse and a majestic eagle on the reverse. The Philadelphia Mint produced around 4.3 million Washington quarters in 1981. While this may seem like a high number, the rarity of certain varieties can drive prices up significantly. It's essential to note that not all 1981 P quarters are worth $1.4 million. Certain factors can affect their value, such as condition, mint errors, and market demand. 
Now, what makes a 1981 P-quarter potentially worth up to $1.4 million? Coins with striking errors, such as double dies, off-center strikes, or die cracks, can significantly increase in value. If your coin has any of these traits, it's worth getting it appraised by a professional. The condition of the coin, graded on the Sheldon scale, plays a crucial role in determining its worth. A coin in pristine condition, graded MS67 or higher, can command high prices in the collector's market. Some coins with a known history or those that belong to famous collectors can fetch higher prices due to their unique stories. Let's take a look at recent sales. In the past few years, several 1981 P. Washington quarters with notable mint errors have sold at auction for impressive sums, with some reaching upwards of $1.4 million. The market for rare coins is dynamic and influenced by collectors' interests, so prices can fluctuate. If you believe you have a valuable 1981 P quarter, the next step is to get it appraised. Here are a few options. Organizations like the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, and the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC, can grade and authenticate your coin for a fee. Many coin shops offer appraisal services, though it's essential to choose a reputable dealer. Attending coin shows is another great way to meet experts and get your coins evaluated. Understanding the coin market and the factors that influence value is crucial. Read books, join forums, and watch videos to expand your knowledge. Follow current trends in the numismatic community to identify which coins are gaining popularity. Always handle your coins by the edges to avoid fingerprints and wear and store them in protective holders to maintain their condition. To sum up, while the 1981 P. Washington quarter may not be the most common coin, certain varieties and mint errors can indeed be worth a fortune. So check your change, dig through your coin jars, and you might just find a hidden treasure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more amazing coin content. We're diving deep into the world of rare coins, focusing on a specific gem, the 1985 D. Washington Quarter. Stick around as we explore its potential value. Could this coin really be worth a staggering $1.8 million? Let's find out. Historical images of George Washington, the first Washington Quarter design, and coin minting facilities. The Washington Quarter was first minted in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. Designed by sculptor John Flanagan, it features the profile of Washington on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse. The design has remained largely unchanged, making this coin a beloved piece of American numismatic history. By the mid-1980s, the U.S. Mint had introduced various mint marks to distinguish coins produced at different facilities. The D on R coin indicates that it was minted in Denver, a facility known for producing millions of coins each year. So what makes the 1985 D. Washington Quarter special? The coin has several notable features. It has a diameter of 24.26 millimeters and weighs 5.67 grams composed of 91.67% copper and 8.33% nickel. Most importantly, let's look at its design elements closely. The obverse features a striking profile of George Washington, while the reverse showcases the majestic eagle, a symbol of freedom. Coins in higher grades, especially those in mint state condition, are particularly sought after by collectors. When determining the value of a 1985 D quarter, collectors look for specific characteristics. Here's coins in uncirculated condition are more valuable. Look for coins with no wear or scratches. Coins graded MS65 or higher can fetch higher prices. Certain die varieties can significantly impact value. Researching these can lead to discovering rarer coins. The value can fluctuate based on collector interest, so staying informed is key. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. 
the $1.8 million valuation. This astronomical price isn't for just any 1985 decorder. The value arises from extreme rarity and exceptional quality. A few specific specimens have sold at auction for mind-boggling amounts, particularly those with unique attributes or historical significance. For example, in recent years, a 1985 D. Washington quarter graded at MS-68 sold for a substantial amount, showing that even quarters can command top dollar in the right condition. While most 1985 D. quarters will not reach this level, the potential is certainly there for those few rare finds. Avoid cleaning your coin too aggressively. A gentle wipe can help, but dirt adds character. Check auction sites and numismatic forums to see what similar coins have sold for. Consider getting a professional appraisal from a reputable coin dealer or grading service. The narrator speaking directly to the camera, with a table of various coins in the background. In conclusion, the 1985 D. Washington quarter can potentially be worth a fortune, up to $1.8 million in rare cases. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, it's always worth examining your change. Who knows what hidden treasures you might find. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more insights into rare coins. Share your thoughts in the comments. Have you ever come across a coin that turned out to be more valuable than you thought? We have an exciting topic that could change your financial future. We're diving into the world of rare coins specifically focusing on the 1995 P. Washington quarter dollar. Believe it or not, some of these coins are valued at an astonishing $1.9 million. So, if you have any quarters from this year lying around, you might want to stick around for this information. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at some background information about the 1995 P. Washington quarter. The Washington Quarter was first minted in 1932 to celebrate George Washington's 200th birthday. The 1995 version was part of a series that has continued to circulate widely, but there's a rare twist to the 1995 P coins that collectors are buzzing about. Now, what makes the 1995 P Washington Quarter so special? It all boils down to a unique minting error. Some of these quarters were struck with an incorrect design, which means they have a significant numismatic value. Unlike regular circulation coins, these error coins attract collectors and investors alike. Here's a close-up of a 1995 P quarter. You'll want to look closely at the details. The error coins can feature striking variations that make them stand out, such as off-center strikes or double strikes where the coin has been stamped twice. These variations dramatically increase their value. So, how much is the 1995 P. Washington quarter actually worth? Regular 1995 P. quarters in good condition usually only fetch a few dollars. However, if you've stumbled upon an error coin, we're talking serious money, up to $1.9 million. Make sure to keep an eye out for those error coins. They're the true treasures. Make sure it's a P mint mark, which indicates it was minted in Philadelphia. Inspect for noticeable errors, like off center strikes or double images. These can be hard to spot, so don't rush. The overall condition is crucial. Coins that are uncirculated or have minimal wear will fetch higher prices. If you believe you have a rare coin, consider getting it appraised by a professional. A numismatist can give you the best idea of its market value. If you do find a valuable 1995 P quarter, you'll want to know where to sell it. Here are some options. Major auction houses often hold numismatic events that attract serious buyers. Visiting a local coin show is a great way to connect with collectors and dealers who are looking for valuable coins. Websites like eBay can also be a marketplace for selling coins but make sure to provide accurate descriptions and photographs. In conclusion, the 1995 P. Washington quarter dollar is not just another coin. It's a potential gold mine. Remember to thoroughly check your change 
and keep an eye out for those error coins that could make you a millionaire. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content on rare coins and collectibles. Thanks for watching and happy coin hunting. We're diving deep into the world of numismatics, specifically focusing on a coin that could be hiding in your pocket change. The 1972 Washington Quarter. Yes, you heard that right. This seemingly ordinary quarter can be worth a staggering $1.5 million. So make sure to stick around as we explore what makes this coin so special, how to identify it, and tips on how to sell it if you happen to find one. Let's get started. First, let's take a quick look at the history of the Washington Quarter itself. The quarter was first minted in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. The design features a portrait of Washington on the front and an eagle on the back, which was modified over the years. The 1972 quarter is part of the standard Washington Quarter series, but it also comes with its own set of unique features that can lead to unexpected value. So why is the 1972 quarter so valuable? The truth is, not all 1972 quarters are worth a fortune. However, specific variants and errors have become collector's items. The most notable version is the 1972S proof quarter. While standard circulation quarters are worth their face value, the proof versions can command high prices, especially if they're in excellent condition. Now, let's break down what you should be looking for. Here are a few key variants. Minted in San Francisco, these coins are created for collectors and feature a shiny finish. A high-grade 1972S proof quarter can be valued at several hundred dollars, and if it's graded by a professional service, it could be worth much more. Error coins are often sought after by collectors. Look for double dies, where the details are mistakenly stamped twice, resulting in a unique look. Coins with this type of error can be valued in the thousands. While not as valuable as the proof version, certain high-grade examples of the 1972D quarter can also fetch a good price, especially if they are in uncirculated condition. Coins are graded on a scale from poor, P1, to perfect mint state, MS70. The better the condition, the higher the value. Use a magnifying glass to check for wear and tear. If you think you have a valuable coin, consider sending it to a professional grading service like the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, or the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC. A high-grade coin certified by a grading service can significantly increase its value. Use resources like eBay or auction sites to find recent sales of similar coins to gauge the market value. Sell to collectors rather than the general public to get the best price. Forums and online groups are great places to connect with interested buyers. Consider auctioning your coin at a reputable auction house that specializes in rare coins. They often have the expertise to attract serious bidders. Attend local or national coin shows where dealers and collectors gather. You might find someone interested in purchasing your coin on the spot. So there you have it. The 1972 Washington Quarter could be worth up to $1.5 million under the right circumstances. Whether it's a proof coin, an error, or just a high-grade example, keep your eyes peeled for this potential treasure in your pocket change. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more valuable coin insights. Have you ever found a rare coin? Let us know in the comments below.